Thanks for joining me today. This is Jen Lee with Gentastic Journey, and we're going to create a gorgeous card today. This is my favorite template for making a wedding card or an engagement card. And here I have a five by seven card, and I am going to find the center, and then we're going to make this into a gatefold type card. So very simple from the onset. And then I'm going to take out some of my letter dies and I'm going to use some glitter paper. You could use any type of paper. Sometimes I use silver, gold, whatever matches the paper that you're going to use on your gatefold. And you can see here I've got a lot of gold and brown type paper. I'm making two cards here, so that's why there's multiple initials, but I'm using the initials of the first names of the couple getting married. And then here I'm taking out some dies that I use for making tags and things like that. And we're going to cut out some shapes out of some similar paper. This is an off-white cardstock, and I'm just going to cut out multiple multiple shapes so that we can make them, they're kind of fancy, so we're going to make them look really pretty on the outside of the card. And I'm going to pick out some stamps. So we'll have different media on these little cutouts. And then I want to have an outline in gold. And this is not the same gold as I've used for the initials, but another gold shiny paper. And so I'm trying to do all my cutouts kind of at the same time. <laughs> And then I'm going to be doing some stamping as well. So here you can see I'm like, hmm, how am I going to put these on? Because they are the same size. And one trick you can use if you have the same size is you can cut them in half and then you can pop them out just at the top and the bottom. And that is a really good way to just add a little bit of a background to those. And here you guys know I don't do a lot of measuring, but I'm going to make sure that the insert paper is going to sit inside of that flap. And so I just put a couple of pencil marks and I'm trimming off at each end of the paper because I like the design of that. And I'm gonna do one for the other side as well. And then I'll use the same paper for the inside, but I'll cut that out later. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp some of these. And so I'm using my stamping platform. This is my Tim Holtz platform. And I'm going to use some of my Lindy's Gimme Gold embossing powder. And I use a paintbrush if I have a few little extra pieces of my embossing powder on it. And this is one of my favorite little sayings. I think it says, wishing you two a wonderful life. Two people a one, one wonderful life. It's really pretty in the gold and then it'll have that background. And so I was gonna use it maybe as an offset or I, like I said, I could cut it in half. We'll see what we do with that in a bit. And then here's the center piece and I'm just trimming that down to fit in the center there. And using some of my tape runner just to get this on to the inside of that card. And this is a nice type of paper and I will include all of the supplies that I used in the description box below in case you liked any of these supplies. But it's just a pretty paper because I can stamp on it, I can write on it, and it's not so dark that I won't be able Able to do lots of things with the inside here and I did use my little bag so that all my fingerprints don't get all over my embossing and I'm just uh, going to emboss this as well with the gimme gold from Lindy's and that's just going to tie it all together by having everything be pretty in gold. I use a pan. It just keeps the paper from warping and I actually warped my paper a little bit from my sticky mat on my stamping platform was a little too sticky. That is the beauty of using a pan when you are heat embossing is it won't warp your paper. So then just laying everything down and I cut out a lot of this video because I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. We all have very limited time so the shorter I can keep my videos the more videos we can watch right but you get the basic idea. So I used a tape runner to get all of these down and now I'm going to use that technique where I said I cut the background pieces in half and then we'll glue it down and this is the glue it's just an ad tech glue and I am putting down the initials of the two people getting married and you can do lots of different things on these little pieces you can put their wedding date or you can do Mr. and Mrs. so I had lots of options but this is just what I decided to do for this one I've also if they have a short enough last name I will put that on the inside of the card too. So lots of different options. So just kind of think about all the things you have for weddings and you can put lots of different stuff. And you'll see here in a bit, I am going to pull out some stickers as well. So lots of different media you can use for these cards. And here's that technique again, where I'm sticking the half of it below and above you really can't tell that I've cut it in half because you're just really seeing those that bottom and the top piece and it works on all the different types that I used so try that out if you don't have you know and the next size up die it's perfect those of you that have been following me for a while you know I use these pretty 
pretty little bins that I got from Hobby Lobby here in the United States, and this is my sticker bin. I get most of my stickers from the dollar store, and I'm gonna try and pick out a few. So I'm just gonna pick out anything that might work with this, and we'll see what we can do with them. Just laying everything out here for a minute. So that's Lisa and Pete. And so that is why I chose L and P. And then for the inside, instead of putting that same paper on the other two sides, I decided to put these pretty hearts. Just something different, right? So you just kind of look at what you have in your stash and do some die cuts, whatever you have. These are pre-cut out dies that I purchased. And then I had a couple of stickers that were pretty because they match the background. And I like how it sits outside of that shape because all the rest of them don't, right? So you want to have just different stuff just to give the card some interest. I thought I was going to put it as one above but then I changed my mind and I want it to be the piece that you're going to use to open the card and it doesn't require that but I think that's a really pretty idea and I do that often with a gatefold. So now I'm just putting some foam tape on all the different pieces and then we'll adhere them down and because I warped this a little bit I'm trying to just iron it out a bit <laughs> and then here we go we're just going to lay everything down now. Instead of putting this up on foam tape I decided to glue it because it already has dimension from the sticker and then we'll put the P as well. And then I like to have that little tab not look unfinished like that, especially for a wedding card. But I almost always do that when I have the little piece that you grab onto. So I'm going to have to cut that out. I should have thought about it before I put it down. But, you know, we don't always think about all these things right as we're doing them. So we'll just cut this apart and it will look nice and finished. So I decided because I put that sticker on the center, I need another piece. So I heat embossed this love and I'm putting that in the corner. And I think that's going to really finish this out. I also decided I wanted to put this on a piece of cardstock on the back of it. And it creates a little bit of a frame for the whole card. And I often do this. I just think it looks really cool, especially when you have something like a gatefold. It seems more substantial. And then I also like how it just adds another version of those colors to it. As a bonus, I wanted to show you really quickly that I'm making my own envelope. I have a video on this and I'll link it above. I think this really makes this card come to life. And because this is going to be hand delivered, it's got the little hearts. It's got the same color scheme. And I think that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you two of these cards I did because I have two weddings that I'm going to. And you can see you have different options. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.